Christy here with Make Everyday Colorful. Today I'm going to do a Rich Scary book review on Best Mysteries Ever. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think you might have to get this one used but I wanted to I wanted to do the review on it anyway because if you can get it I would it's a cute book and it has different parts of the um, world. So with this if it were me I would show my kid a, pitch, a map um before each story or after to show him what we we're just reading about like this is cucumber and rio so he it's a detective and he goes and solves all these mysteries in different parts of the world so you learn a little bit about different parts of the world um then this one's in india so you're you're learning a little bit about different cultures once again, I'd show her the map of where India is. It doesn't matter how young your kid is, they can start learning geography. My four-year-old can point out um, different countries on the map. It's pretty cool to watch her do, because I did definitely didn't know that <laughs> at her age, but it's because I'm constantly showing her when we read different folk tales or different stories, if it's a certain place, even if it's in the United States, I would show them that state, so. Just a bunch of little mysteries in different parts of the world. Cucumber in the Rockies. There's the mountains. And you can talk about a mountain range as a group of mountains that are connected, you know, so you can throw in some extra little information in there. And this is a tunnel. So you can make it more than what it is. You can go on with the story and then throw in some extra stuff to make it extra educational. Or you can just leave it fun and just read the story. Sneef at the opera. So now we're talking about the opera. So for me, I would probably pull up, after I read the story, I'd probably pull up a, um, a little video on YouTube or wherever uh, with an opera singer or something just to show them what an opera is if they weren't sure what it was. In the Nile. Niagara Falls mystery. So we're just going all kinds of different places in here. I think that's, oh, you no, know, we have Big Apple Christmas Mystery, so we're in New York. I feel like this could definitely go for our preschool age kid if they can sit through stories like this. If not, maybe even a little bit older since you're... The stories, they're not really long, but they're a little bit longer. And you can throw in the geography in there. So I really like this book. I'm going to try and put a link below the video to where I get this. I think I bought this one on Thrift Books, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's that book. Um, this is Make Every Day Colorful, like I said. I have other book reviews. If you want to click down below, I'll put links for that. And I even have some Richard Scary games that I reviewed. I also homeschool, so I have some homeschool videos and DIY videos that we do. So I hope that you like this video and click to subscribe if you want to see other videos. Have a blessed day.